Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really awesome video for you guys. I've got my February favourites. So if you've never heard of a favourites video before, basically it's where I go through a whole bunch of products or things that I've been just really, really enjoying and I'm telling it to you so that maybe you can find something useful from it too and go try it out or whatever. So I'm going to start off with sort of makeup products first, although actually there's not really that many makeup products. So I guess beauty products first. So let's start off with that and then I'll move into some more sort of lifestyle products. But yeah, if you guys do like this sort of video then go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I put out a video at least once a week. So don't forget to subscribe for those. Okay, let's get into it. Too, many, too much rambling. So, alright, so the first thing that I have really been enjoying recently, but I just wish wasn't so expensive, is the Hourglass Primer. It looks like this. It's the Hourglass uh, Veil Mineral Primer. It's really, really good. It's just really expensive. I, this is obviously like the little baby sample size. And as you can see, I'm already like halfway through it. And this is really good for preventing oil. I don't have massively oily skin, but this is really good at helping your makeup just down for ages so it's really really good the only thing to keep in mind is that it is SPF 15 which means that it's not the best for uh, any flash photography or anything like that but anything else it's really really good. and actually in conjunction with this I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray so it looks like this these two are my go-to whenever I want um, my makeup to last like forever I will use those and I can pretty much guarantee that by the end of the night everything will look pretty much it was at the beginning like maybe I might be a little bit shinier than I was when I started but for otherwise like this stuff is a go it's really really good it's pretty expensive in New Zealand um, I think it's like $48 or something like that but definitely I think it's worth it yeah I would recommend moving on to some sort of skincare stuff so I have another combo for you guys. <laughs> um, this is the Innisfree, this is the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. And it looks like this. I got it from iHerb. This stuff is amazing. If you have acne prone skin or just you're prone to congestion or big pores or anything like that, put this stuff on and like two days later your skin will have definitely started to clear up. Like for me at the moment I have these like pretty big, you know, whammies on my chin here. And I use this two nights in a row. And then all of a sudden, I've noticed that these are so much smaller, they've gone down massively in size, they're nowhere near as painful and sore. So yeah, I definitely recommend this stuff. It's not too expensive, as I recall, um, this jar was like 20 bucks or something from iHerb. And I've been using it for ages, and I'm like not even halfway through, so yeah, I would recommend it. The only thing with this stuff, though, is that it's like pretty hard to get off your face. But to go hand in hand with this one, I have this Leoelli 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 Cosmetic AC Control Night Spot. So this stuff, and here's what it looks like. So okay, no, sorry guys, it's not good. So this stuff is really good for um, sort of putting on your pimples. So again, if you're like me and you're prone to like pretty bad breakouts, like I'm not talking about oh I've just got like one little tiny one, but it's not too bad. No, no, I'm talking about sort of deep under the skin like sore ones. This stuff in conjunction with this, these are really good at really helping to shrink down the size of my pimples. So I really really appreciate those. So yeah, maybe try them out. I got this from makeup.co.nz and as you can see I'm nearly out so I might have to buy some more pretty soon. Oh there is a makeup item but I forgot. So I've been really enjoying the Jeffree Star Mannequin Liquid Lipstick. This stuff is amazing. It's a very thin formula, which I really appreciate, and it also lasts on your lips forever. It doesn't feel super drying, and yeah, it lasts forever. And you can reapply, and it doesn't go all goopy and gross. So yeah, I would recommend checking these out if you haven't already. I know there's a lot of controversy around Jeffree Star, but if you put all that stuff aside and just look at it for like the makeup and cosmetics, it's good. So. If you want a good liquid lipstick, go for this. Oh, and obviously if you like this colour. But yeah, I really like the formula of the of those Velour liquid lipsticks. They're, they're really, really... I mean, this is the only one I've ever tried, but I'm really impressed with it. So I would like to get more in the future, but at the moment I try not to spend any money on makeup because, yeah, my budget is tight. Moving on, 
So my favorite fragrance of this month, and actually for a long time I have loved it. Ever since I smelled it, I was absolutely in love with this perfume. So it is the Chloe perfume, and here is what it looks like. It is the most beautiful bottle, which oh, it's just so stunning. And I love the fragrance. It's so fresh and clean smelling. It's just absolutely beautiful. So if you like that kind of really fresh smell, and it's like... Oh, it's so classy as well. Like every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on on this perfume. So yeah, I would recommend just having a try. Like have a sniff. Um, you know, go down to your local pharmacy or drugstore or whatever you want to call it. Give it a sniff, and if you like it, then I recommend checking it out because it is so nice. So my next favorite thing is some um, green tea. So this is the Bell Green Tea with pink grapefruit and lime. This stuff's amazing. It's so delicious. Like I do really like. The flavor of green tea but because this is just so oh you can have this hot or cold which is really great in my opinion especially at the moment because it's really really hot you can have it hot or cold and it's just really good tea it's by the brand bell the thing i really like about it is that this doesn't come with any plastic or anything like that and the tea bags are made from chlorine free filter paper so yeah this whole box is completely recyclable so i really love it for that it's you should try it and it's really cheap too you can get it from the supermarket for like less than three dollars well if you're in New Zealand that is you're not in New Zealand I think you would find it pretty hard but most of my viewers are from New Zealand anyway okay cool so the next thing that I have really been enjoying recently almonds so yeah I like raw almonds almonds are great they're a great snack they're really good for you they're high in protein they're pretty low GI oh they're a source of fiber as well and they're just delicious I really like almonds they're honestly like my go-to snack okay and my final favorite of February is so maybe what you guys don't know about me is that I experience really bad bloating and I'm not talking about like oh I've just had too much to eat and like oh I'm just a little bit bloated after having too much pasta no 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 I'm talking about like really serious bloating I've actually been to the doctor about it and I'm actually putting off getting a blood test because I really suck at getting blood tests however in saying that, I went to the doctor and he has prescribed me, you know, all these different things and one of them is antacids. So I have these antacids that I can take and, you know, those are really good. However, these are probably my preferred antacids. So these, these are the Gaviscon Dual Action ones. So I really like these because I feel like these are much more immediate than when I take the ones that was prescribed to me by the doctor. They taste nicer as well because it's kind of like a minty flavour and yeah, it really actually helps to soothe, you know, especially if I am having heartburn at the same time. So yeah, if you guys ever need some antacids, I would recommend checking out Gaviscon. So the reason why I'm talking about antacids and stuff is because, so with the bloating and that, I have found that sometimes taking antacids can be very helpful. If you're experiencing really bad bloating, maybe that's something you might want to look into to see whether that could be a possible issue for you. Um, and especially if you feel really bloated and have things like peppermint tea and that helps, then maybe that could be um, an indicator that you do need some more antacids because your stomach is producing too much acid, which is then causing you to bloat, uh, which then leaves you feeling extremely uncomfortable. Do look into it if you do experience very bad bloating, like I do, and I will definitely go get those blood tests that I need to get done. But that was my February favorite. Favorites? Favorites. Okay. Those are my February favorites. Wow, that's hard to say. So if you did enjoy this video, then please, like I said before, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So yeah, until next time. Bye guys!